I clicked the wrong record, but that's okay. Maybe it'll work. All right. So hi, everybody. Super excited to do this with you. Kick it off for the beginning of the month. Uh, let me screen share and play around with all this stuff. So present and screen. I do have slides. I'm slightly prepared. Do, do, do. And let's see if I can find the screen share. <laughs> it always takes me forever to figure all these buttons out. Um, screen share. There we go. Okay. So can you see that? Can you see that slide? Okay, cool. So this is our kickoff call. Woo! So exciting. Yay. All right. So let's move on. Okay. So um, oh, not that far. There we go. So I'm Ashley, but I think you guys all know me because this time this is mostly my people. Usually I do stuff like this for the whole team, but this time I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make this intimate and fun and I'm going to work with just my people. So you, my people. Okay. So, um, let me take this off because I'm going to sweat when I talk, I get real passionate and then I sweat. Okay. So here's the thing. I just want to share real quick how I got started with this because it's really important to share that part. I struggled for years. I had my daughter really young, right? And then I struggled for years after that with yo-yoing up and down these 30 pounds, right? And um, I used to get really down on myself and I worked full-time. I went to school full-time. I did all the things, right? And then I came home and I always said to myself when I was like working full-time and went to school, I always said, dude, when my schedule gets lighter, I'll be able to X, Y, Z with my fitness, right? Whatever it was. And then I became a stay at home mom. And when I became a stay at home mom, I knew I was like, so excited. I am totally going to have the time to do this. I'm going to do this. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be the fittest person in the whole wide world because I'm going to be home, you know, and I, I'll have the time and I can do all that. And it didn't happen. And I actually just started gaining weight and I was really bummed. I was super bummed. And I was really down on myself in a very critical, not nice way, if that makes sense. And so long story short, I ran into a friend after my struggle of trying to do all this. I started running. I thought that would help. I blew out my back. I mean, there was just so much going on. Anyway, I ran into a friend who I saw in a three month period. And after those three months, I saw her again. And she looked completely different from the last time I saw her completely different in 90 days. And I couldn't believe it. And I looked at her and I was like, holy crud. And I knew she was a runner prior. So this is even after all that. And I was like, what are you doing? And she told me she was doing P90X. And what made me so angry is like, flipping A, I have P90X. I said to her, I have P90X. It's sitting on my shelf at home collecting dust. I never completed it ever. I also have three or maybe four other programs from Beachbody. This is at the time when you have to buy them with like DVDs, I'm kind of dating myself here on infomercials. And I was like, I have all these programs. They're sitting on my, pro on my shelf, all these DVDs, and I never completed them. And that's when she told me about Shakeology because it was like fairly new at that time. And she told me about coaching. And I wasn't intrigued until she said to me about the coaching piece, until she said to me, well, I got started three months ago and I'm already making $1,000 a month. And I only do this part-time on the side other than teaching. She was a teacher. And I was like, say what? <laughs> and then she got my attention like really, really quick. And I was like, oh, well, what do you have to do? And, I, and she said, she's like, you just do your program and you invite other people to do it with you. Just like I'm doing right now, telling you about my program and I want you to do it with me. And I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? And she's like, well, we just do it and check in with each other here and there. And I was like, that's it. Like, that's all you do. She's like, yeah, but you would buy it from me and I would make the commission. And she just really easily broke it down. And I figured, you know, I'm home and I need the extra accountability. And what I always come back to at that moment is I thought to myself, I used to say to my husband all the time, oh, that model or actress or whoever who's ripped they're ripped because they get paid a million dollars to be ripped. Do you know what I mean? I used to be like, that's why they're ripped. That's how they have motivation. You know, you'd see the magazines are like, oh, how does JLo get motivation? Well, JLo gets motivation because she makes bank having a body like that, right? If you made bank having a body that was like super sexy and like ripped all the time and always working out, you would do it too. <laughs> it's like, you don't need the motivation when you're making millions of dollars to look like that. Does that, does that make sense? So when I 
So when she told me this, I like put the two and two together. I used to say the same thing about personal trainers and whatnot. I'm like, it's their job. They have to look the part or else nobody would go to them. They have the extra motivation. So I used to say that to my husband all the time. So anyway, when I, when she told me this, I was like, oh, and I instantly connected to the, the two. I was like, so wait, so it's like answering that thing that I talked about before of getting paid to being fit. And she's like, well, yeah, kind of. And I'm like, I think I could do this. Now, prior to that, I never stuck to a, a workout program. I mean, that's why I like, I, I would go to the gym here or there. If I had a big event, like my wedding, or I went to the island once, I would get fit like right beforehand. And I would probably lose about 30 pounds. And I would do something like keto at the time. It was not keto. It was um, South Beach diet, you know? And so I would do that for the event. And then I would gain all the weight back plus some. And I'd get really, really down myself. So since being a coach, I have never stopped working out. And I say this to you because I really, really mean it. I have been working out at least five days a week for over 10 years because I'm a coach. And everybody who gets started as a coach with me has a very similar story. Do they still struggle here and there? Yeah, sure. Like holidays, gain eight pounds, you know, like you oh, gotta, gotta work on my nutrition again. Absolutely. But the habits that they have in place are there for a lifetime. And being a coach just puts you in a different like accountability because if you're inviting other people to join you, then you yourself are going to stay on track as well. Does that make sense? So I just wanted to share that piece with you because it's a really big piece of why I've been able to continue working out. And I'm sure you know, as well as everybody else, how a pain in the butt it is of that emotional roller coaster. I'm working out. I'm not working out. I hate myself. I'm going to work out. <laughs> it's just terrible. So anyway, let's keep going. And I'll share um, a little bit about what we have, you probably, some of it's going to be review because you guys have already done this before. So I'll go quickly, but first of all, let's talk about vision. I think this is really important to have a pen and paper. If you can't do it right now, then maybe come back to this, but it's really, really important. It's important to know where you want to go. And when people talk about vision, sometimes we don't bring in all of our senses. And what I want you to really, really think about is, okay, if this is 12 weeks, but just think a year, like a year out, but, or you know what, let's go with the 12 week thing because it's going to be really warm in 12 weeks. So let's go with the summer. Okay. <laughs> I want you to really think to yourself how you want to look, but more so how you want to feel over the summer. Did you ever have a summer where you did not feel your best, whether it's um, the way you feel in a swimsuit. And of course, everybody goes to that, but it's not just that. It's also, you know, when you jump in the pool and you want to go swimming with your kids and have the energy to do it. If you just want to walk around at the pool without always looking for the cover up, that's big too. It's a confidence boost, right? If you want to just be able to be outside and active, like playing, I have boys. So I think that like, I want to be able to go out there and play football with them and like give it to my all, give it my all and like, and have them respect me. Be like, oh, mom, you're awesome. Right. Like I wouldn't be able to do those things if I didn't have the energy. And if I wasn't working out continuously and building up that strength and endurance. And so keeping up with the kids, going out, hiking, doing the things that you really want to do. They all take a lot of energy. Right. And then you don't want to crash right afterwards. These are all things I want you to truly think about. How do I want to feel how do I want to look? How do I want to fit in my clothing? I want you to write it down. One of the biggest pieces I love, um, Alana brings this up in her training. And she goes, I want you to imagine at night, um, in bed in the morning, sorry, when you wake up in the morning, before you ever even grab your phone or open your eyes or kiss your husband or spouse or any of those things, or get up and go pee. That's always my first thing. <laughs> before you do that, you always end up feeling your body. You feel the sheets on your body. You feel your clothing on your body. And you just think about how you feel physically when you're getting up. How do you feel? Like, are you creaking in like on the way out of the bed? Right. Um, I want you to think about that moment. How do I feel right then? 
How do I feel then in my clothing? Do I feel like, for me, I like to, I like the word lean, <laughs> lean and strong. Like when some people say, oh, you look so skinny. I'm like, oh, not, I don't connect with that word. Maybe you do, but I, I love the lean and strong and toned, right? And so when I feel my best, when I wake up, I'm like, yeah, I know I have it. I feel it, right? And then I get up and I personally, I step on the scale because I always track daily for me. Um, you might not have want to, maybe you do weekly, but um, I know how I feel when I see it where I want it in my, in my prime. I know how I feel when I get up. I know how I feel when my clothing fits me. I know how I feel when I'm putting my jeans on. You know what I mean? All these things happen before you ever even talk to someone. So when you're up and you wake up and you feel like awesome and energetic and good before you talk to someone, if you can have those things empower you throughout the morning, then you're going to be a happier, more energetic person throughout the day. So these are all things I want you to write down. It's really important when you write these things down because then the vision connects to the paper, connects back to your brain, and it actually sets this long-term vision in your head, okay? Now, we all know that the pieces to get there are your habits, right? There's different habits that are definitely going to get there. Water, the amount of water you drink every day, that's a good habit to get into. Veggies most, and I don't care which program you're doing, to be mindset, um, portion fix, keto. I really don't care what you're doing. Intermittent fasting, which is just timing out your meals. Um, veggie most is what's going to help you get to your goals. You're, it's going to help you be healthier. It's going to help you have more energy. It's going to help you feel fuller. It's going to everything about it, veggies. Most, the most thing on your plate should always be veggies. Even when you're making your shakeology, throw veggies in it, right? Spinach, uh, baby kale, bulk it up with cauliflower rice. Emily, do you put other things in there that you, that you can think of? Let me know. Um, some I tried the um, frozen zucchini. Zucchini, yeah, you just tried it, right? Really? How was that? Well, you have to like, um, you have to peel it first because it. Oh, gets... okay. So but did you delicious. did you peel it, cut it, and freeze it? Next time, I I just I just sliced it, but next oh. time I'm going to peel it and then cut it up in smaller pieces so it blends better. Ah, that'll be nice. But so when good. you throw these veggies in there, um, especially if they're frozen you can get your, your um, shake to be real frothy, like real frothy, and you never taste the vegetables. So it's really awesome. You can throw, throw all kinds of stuff in there and play around with it. It's really good. I personally did not like the cauliflower because I tasted the cauliflower, but kale, spinach, I don't even like spinach, but I don't taste it in my shake. I'm guessing zucchini, I wouldn't taste because that's another one that you can just throw really into anything and it masks, you know, whatever it is, masks the flavor of the zucchini. So all things, veggies most, right? Um, okay, so that sleep, going to bed at a normal time, um, to be able to wake up at a normal time, your sleep is really important. So we have water, veggies, sleep, and your workouts, right? If you can, if you can get those four things in, in play, then you're already gonna be light years ahead of most people, and you're gonna have an awesome, um, like just a great transition into a healthier, more energetic lifestyle. I don't know. Is that something that you guys want? Do you want healthier and energetic? Okay, good. I'm just making sure we're on the same page, all right? So anyway, <laughs> okay. As long as I'm talking to the right people here, right? Okay, so real quick, I wanna ask you guys a question because I think it's really important we get to know each other. I wanna know each one of you what city and state you're in. Say it in the chat because I think I know for everybody, but I don't. I'm not really sure, but I want you guys to get to know each other so that we can really have a successful month. But let's move on here while you do that. All right, so this is our, um, this is for anybody who gets started with us. And I want you to see it because I think it's important to um, show you the resources we have. So this is, I'm gonna share a different screen. This is our Billy, Alberta, Zionsville. Okay, so you guys are super close. Zionsville and Al Alberta. Emily, I'm sorry, you're just out there in Billy land. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, share, share. So if you 
haven't seen this yet, I want you to find it or ask me for the link. This is how I get people started. It gives them all the resources up front. Each little link brings you to something. Um, if you don't know the workout that you're gonna do, do the survey and then message me and we'll talk and we'll figure out which workouts do. It's just a little like survey and it breaks down questions of what you would like to accomplish, what is your fitness level now, and so on and so forth. It's a great survey. This is setting up your BOD app. If you haven't done that, make sure the BOD app is set up correctly because that's where we're going to have, that's where our group is. And I want to make sure you get my messages through the BOD app, which is really important. Picking out your workout, uh, what to eat. These are all just really important things for you to go through. This one, super important, um, is checking how your supplements work and if you have shipments to go through. Okay, so next thing I want to show you is support and accountability. So we have the 24 seven fitness Zoom. Okay, so Emily, do you hop on that in the morning or when you work out in the evening? No, because I've been doing everything on the bike and it's a lot of screens. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally cool. So here's, here's what I wanna explain. Everybody does things differently. You can, you can stream your workout through your bike. If you guys don't have a bike, by the way, and you're thinking about one, the mixed bike is amazing. We love you just it. need to buy it. Everyone needs to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's in love with it too. Uh, the screen is swivels all the way around. So we can do our workout on the bike. I'll show you. What you can do your bike workout and then you can swivel that screen around and do all of our other workouts like um, MBF and P90X and 80 Day Obsession. And uh, it's all, your membership is all through the screen. So they have icons right there to just click BOD and then you're in the workout area, which is great. Um, so that's mixed bike. You could do a payment plan, all kinds of things. It's awesome. Um, oh yes. So those who are using the mixed bike, they usually just log into the Zoom on their phone and just prop it up somewhere. Or if you have, you can stream it through your TV. I have literally all devices in my bedroom, which is ridiculous. I have a TV on the wall and I have it on the TV on an Apple Apple TV. And then I also use my computer a lot too. I just switch all over the place. Um, right now, because I do 80 day obsession, there's no music to 80 day obsession. So I log into it on my computer. And then right next, that's one screen. Another screen is my zoom and another screen is my music. And I put my earbuds in and I can hear and see everything at one time. So it really, it's just, you know, it's about every, every house has 8 million devices, I feel like. So you just have to figure out which is best for you, but the zoom really helps people stay accountable. I personally didn't need the accountability because I was already in a routine. So I like, I, even though I'm the one who set it up for everybody else, I did not go on for the longest time. And then finally I was like, all right, I'll go on and check it out for a couple of days. And I got hooked because I realized that I was pushing myself harder. I was, I was knowing somebody else could see me. I was really pushing myself harder. I was like, oh, I don't want them to see me lifting five pound weights, right? It was just, <laughs> that's just how I was. I was like, I need to really pump it up because I know people are watching me, right? So that's another, another thing that you can do. But the Zoom, the Zoom gym, I highly recommend everybody to do. Um, and then there's also meal planning workshops on Fridays. If you need help designing a meal plan for your week, every single Friday she does this. So there's a link, you just hop on the Zoom and she, there's only like usually one or two other people on there. So you get one-on-one -on -one basically with Kaylee and she'll help you set up your entire meal plan for the week within 20 minutes. And then you know exactly what you're eating. She makes things so simple. She has four kids like me and she homeschools and everything. So her schedule is packed. And so she has all these little um, just ways and tricks of making sure that you're ready and on the go. And she has everything made you know, ahead of time, but you don't have to, but she'll help you make it super simple. Um, she's one of those people who likes to just grab her meal from the fridge and leave because she's never home. Um, I personally like family style. I make, I make bulk things, keep them in the fridge and just pull them out when I need them. So coffee talk is Saturday morning. And those are interviews that I do with other people. By the way, if you have had um, success, any kind of success, I would love to interview you. I would love it and um, let you share your story. I'm thinking of you, Deb. And that's Fit Party Celebration is afterwards. That's when we do a workout afterwards. Um, so that's all that. Okay. And then lastly, I wanted to show you 
Hold on, let me go back, back, and back. Do, do, do. Share screen. They're changing things up on me. I hate when they do that. There we go. Uh, da -da. All right, so we already know how to do that. Okay, we, everybody here already knows these things. You know how to get your workout calendar and everybody on this group knows how to get into their bod group. I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna go past that. We went over that. Okay, so here's the two things I wanted to share with you. These are the dates of our Zoom calls. This one's just setting things up, but this, this to the left, this is the weekly check-in form. So I'm gonna have everybody in our group go on to a text um, update that goes out on Sundays. And Sundays you'll get just a text that says, hey, don't forget to fill out your weekly form, okay? And it's just a check-in form. So it's really, it's a kind of more for you than it is for me, but it's for you to evaluate your week. How many days did I work out? How many days did I drink Shakeology? Um, what was my mini goal? So I like to make sure that everybody has a mini goal. So maybe it's, I, I don't even want you to say, I drank a hundred ounces of water today, if that's not something that you're even close to yet. So maybe break it down even smaller. Maybe I drank 24 ounces of water when I first woke up before I ate breakfast. Maybe that's what it would be. I want you to think small and doable, almost laughable, right? So small and doable, almost laughable, and something that you'll actually stick with. And every single week, if you increase it the tiniest bit, you'll be amazed what you accomplished over weeks and months and the year. You'll, it'll literally blow you away. Some people don't like to do it because they don't feel like they're doing enough. That doesn't mean you have to not do the other things. So if I'm struggling with my water and I say, okay, this week I'm going to work on 24 ounces, that doesn't mean I'm just going to stop working out or even trying to get my workout in. It just means that's the thing I'm tracking, right? So keep that in mind when you're filling out this form. And then it'll also ask you things like, what am I celebrating this week? What is one thing I might've struggled with that I need help with? These are important questions because then on the next call, I'll know what things to cover that people are struggling with. Does that make sense? All right, cool. So that form, I'll put you all on the same list, my text list, which I'm so in love with. Thank you so much for talking to me through my text number. That number, by the way, that you have for my texting, that's not my personal number. I, I like set up a business line and have this cool program that helps me text everybody at one time. So um, that's why I'm in love with it. And so I can schedule that I have it scheduled so that that text to remind you for this form, it'll go out at the same time every day, every week on Sunday. So that is really important. And then yes, you can, like I said in the beginning, you can definitely join our team, and make money while you're getting fit, which is, I'll send you that later. So, but this is what I wanted you to see. If you do decide to invite other people for the month of February, we have a $20 off promo code. And those are those, the three packages that are most popular packages. So if you want somebody to join you and be like your accountability partner. So if you have a friend or somebody who you're like, listen, I've been doing this. I really like it, but I would love to have somebody I know do it with me so we can check in with each other or just cheer each other on. Uh, let me know if you want to do it and, or if you want the info. And then if they say yes, I have a um, page, which I'll show you next that has all the information of our team on it. And then they'll also get a $20 off promo code that they can use to join us. And these are those three basic packages that they can choose from. So I'll just show you that, that link real quick. And then um, I'll answer your questions and we will get going. This is the link. that you can then send them if they say, yeah, sure, send me the info. This shares everything about our, about what we do on our team. So this is the fitness and nutrition. It talks about the challenge pack. This talks about our support and um, accountability, the Zoom, the talk, the coffee talk, 
the group app, the meal planning workshops, and then the kickstart class, how much the packages are, so on and so forth. And then at the bottom, it has testimonials of everybody who has worked with us, which is super awesome. And there's Kristen. Here's some awesome pictures of some of my favorite people. So it's Ashley, Lee, Sarah. There you go. Okay, so that you can send them that if they're interested in doing this. Okay, so. I just want to double check that everybody who's actually on the call, if you all know what workout you're going to be doing. Yes. You can tell me, tell me what workout you're doing. <laughs> you can unmute yourself. I'm doing the um, let's get up. Yes. I'm so glad you're doing it. I know. Well, and I I, I started it and I love it. And I figured, you know, I love to dance. Um, and I, I mean, you know, Ashley, I used to be really good at working out almost every single day. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I got pregnant, I had a really tough time. I was just exhausted and like having a toddler, I was exhausted. So I haven't worked out since before I was pregnant with my son and he's going to be six months old. So I thought it was like a great thing to just, get started and and it's so much fun and I love it I am so excited for you and proud of you I'm super proud of you it's hard to and get back into things but yeah you're doing hard. Hard. it was hard I know and I know sometimes we look at ourselves in our phases of life our seasons of life I should say and we're like but I used to be so ripped or I used to like work out every day for an hour and why can't I do it now we just have to be you know gentle <laughs> with ourselves exactly. I'm, I'm so proud of you so proud of you, you. Awesome yeah and Emily are you doing a program or are you just doing body workouts so I'm doing job one and okay. I had to restart it I was getting ready to do the third week and then I got COVID so I figured let me just go back and start the program over again so I either stack them and do two workouts because they're only 20 minutes so i feel like all right i can like push through um <laughs> or like so today i did um a lee jimenez cycle and then i finished up with a job one that was uh the art the band workout so it was all bands it was super it's it's hard what you feel band like, workout is it so like the the middle one like the day three one of each week it mm -hmm. uses the bands or i'm sorry the, are, they, are they called bands yes they are yeah, loop, they call them loops loops, loops yeah. yeah but they're only 20 minutes so you feel like you have to work so much harder because you're like all right it's like 10 minutes shorter than like other programs um but lee's cycle today was all about self-love and uh, just letting go of stress which like i totally needed um at the end I wasn't sure if I was crying or sweating or like a little bit of both but like <laughs> I love the body workouts um and then stacking the programs with it like it really just helps give me that extra push because I'm gonna be 39 next week and things like like you said like how we look 10 years ago like things are like falling in weird places and I'm like <laughs> what's happening with my body before so it's like a weird phase that I'm like <laughs> embrace it embrace yeah. it. embrace the gravity <laughs> that's hilarious i'm proud of you too i think it's so awesome that you've been gosh you've been with us now for over a year at least how july long? 4th 2020 july 4th 2020 so a year and a half yep after all the everyone gained weight during COVID, <laughs> which yeah. is probably like the best time for a beach body coach because everyone was probably reaching out like, oh my God, I can't do this anymore. Tell me more about your programs. <laughs> it was. It was a good month. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. And Deb, do you know what workout you're doing? Yeah, I still can't hear you. Are you doing MBF? She's in the chat. Yeah, okay. Oh, is she in there? I closed it for some reason. I don't know where, but that's good. I think MBF is a good one. I started MBF again on Monday, hopefully karate on Saturday too. Perfect. That's what I'm doing too. I'm doing, uh, well, not MBF, but I'm doing 80 day obsession 
um, which I'm so excited. I, I, I waited a long time to redo it because it, they're long. And so I kind of, uh, like made myself think it wasn't possible. <laughs> and then my husband started doing P90X, which is also an hour. And I'm like, dude, if you can do that, I'm totally doing this. Like he made me mad. <laughs> So I was like, all right, fine. I'm doing it. So I'm doing 80 day obsession. And then I have karate, like one or two, depending days a week, whatever I end up going to. And uh, that's how I know Deb, because she's in our class. And by the way, girls, she's hardcore. Don't let her fool you. She is hardcore. She can be everybody's butt. <laughs> she's scary. <laughs> there she goes. Gone again. There you are. Okay. So yeah. Um, she's an inspirational. So yes, thank you so much, Deb, for inspiring me, uh, in, in, uh, in karate. So I appreciate that a lot. She's like, oh, I talk, but you can't hear me. Okay. So, um, anyway, next time we get together, I will have everybody's check-in and we'll know if we like what kind of questions we can do. And what we'll do is we'll help each other come up with plans. So if somebody's struggling with one thing, we'll collaborate to help them come up with ideas of how we can accomplish it together, right? And um, it'll be a lot of cheering on too, because people will tell us what their victories are for the week. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the meantime. But I think this is really good because it gives me, you know, I'm super busy too. And I will answer your questions when you message me. But this gives us a good like, direct contact to be able to troubleshoot and ask questions and give ideas. And I'm not a fitness professional, you know, I'm not a nutritionist, but when we all come together and help each other with the things that we have strengths in, then we can really help each other, um, in a big way. So bringing people together is what I do. And, that, and this is what I love. I love being able to see your faces and talk and with you and get ideas from everybody. So thank you very much. Uh, next time we get together will be Tuesday, I think, right? Tuesday at 730. Yeah, I think it's 730. <laughs> All right. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll send a text as well as a reminder for that with the link. And I'll also send you the text with the weekly. Any questions at all from you guys now? Awesome. And then at the end of the month, I just want to ask you to give me any kind of feedback as to how we could change this, tweak it or do anything different because I like these, but I don't know, maybe you guys hate them. So anyway, <laughs> I would really appreciate any feedback from you. So I'll ha have a great night and I'll talk to you guys later. And thanks again for showing up. See ya.